Thank you very much. Um, I call uh, Jamie Green to be followed by Ross Greer. Mr Green, please. Uh, it is with breaking news, Deputy Presiding Officer, that I can confirm to the Chamber today that Santa also loves Paisley. Today's Paisley Express uh, reports a meeting between Provost Anne Hall and the great man himself, who said that uh, how much he loves Paisley and came from Lapland to tell her so. I would like to congratulate George Adam for securing this uh, debate, but also the team behind the bid who put so much hard work into it. Uh, the UK City of Culture competition offers a, a very unique opportunity for any city in the UK to demonstrate, promote and celebrate its culture. Cities far and wide have put their names forward over the years from Plymouth to Dundee. And even though we're only a few terms into this competition, uh, we've already seen some fantastic cities win the prize and reap the benefits. Uh, Northern Ireland's uh, London Derry Derry became the first and Kingston upon Hull became victorious last time. But so far, Scottish cities have fallen short. Only Dundee has managed to make the shortlist. So I say it's time that Scotland took home the prize. If Hull was once uh, the winning city because, and I quote, it was a city coming out of the shadows, then surely Paisley must be considered as a city of spirit and courage. Paisley's mills once weaved silk, fabric, shawls and textiles for the world, nearly 10,000 people, most of them women, once filled the town to work in those mills. But like many other great industrial towns, it suffered the decline of these factories. But that didn't stop Paisley uh, resurging, with iconic crooners like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin, who wore the Paisley pattern on silk smoking jackets at their Las Vegas shows. But Paisley's also seen some tough and turbulent times, as been mentioned, but its inhabitants have always showed spirit and courage on more than one occasion, like when Paisley was bombed by the Luftwaffe during the Second World War, or when its weavers took to the streets in the Radical War in 1819, as George Adam recounts. But its indefatigable courage to recover, rebuild and inspire is one of its most defining characteristics. In my view, it should become the UK City of Culture because of that resilience and its ability to reinvent itself in good times and bad. Uh, Paisley's long influenced popular culture. For a town with just 77,000 people, it has punched way above its weight. From Phyllis Logan in Downton Abbey to Jerry Drafferty in Baker Street. From David Tennant crossing space and time to Paolo Nettini crossing musical styles and tastes. Indeed, the doyen of political satire and news himself, Andrew Neil, is from Paisley, even if his tan says otherwise. Culture is synonymous with Paisley. The Spree Festival sold over 4,000 tickets last year and was widely hailed as a great success. It was almost the west of Scotland's own fringe. Uh, Smaz Shot Day in July still celebrates Paisley's unique textile legacy and indeed is one of the oldest workers' festivals in the world. We'll also be looking forward to hosting the Scott Trad Music Awards in December next year. But the benefits of becoming the UK City of Culture are very significant. The first winner saw a 50% increase uh, in visitors. So, but this is about so much more than just winning a title. It is about a collective endeavor to make Paisley a better place to live. But there is some work to be done. The all important Glasgow Airport link via Paisley must still be built. Yes, parts of Paisley are indeed uh, deprived in Scotland, but I welcome that Renfrewshire Council is, is doing so much to try and tackle some of these issues. Of all the cities bidding for this award, surely Paisley epitomizes the spirit, the courage, the cultural heritage, and the ambition for the future that is worthy of its honor. So I too will be keeping my eyes on Paisley, and I hope the judges will too. Thank, Thank you, you very much.